It all began in 1922. Jack Pressman launched Pressman Toy with big ideas to bring unique concepts to market. Pressman Toy was one of early adopters of licensing, like Dick Tracy and Disney Snow White. When the war began, manufacturers needed to find ways to make products from non-critical materials like wood and paper. To their benefit, Pressman Toy was already doing that. The purchase of an injection molding machine transformed their manufacturing process, making product more versatile and less costly. During this period, Jack Pressman met Lynn Rambach. They fell in love and married in 1942. She had a career in fashion. Her first influences on Pressman Toy can be seen on the noticeably improved 1945 catalog. Jack named her vice president in 1947. She also gave packaging a complete facelift and helped develop the new kid-centric logo in 1952. The introduction of models in the catalog is credited to her, and she found the perfect one for the cover of the 1955 catalog, Jim Pressman, the six-year-old son of Lynn and Jack. When Jack passed away, Lynn became one of the first female CEOs in America. Jim became interested in the family business while working summers in the factory in Brooklyn. After college, he joined the company and worked closely with his mother. When it came time for Jim to take on the role of CEO, he set out to lead like his parents before him. He introduced Wheel of Fortune. It quickly became the number one game in the country. His determination to break the norms is what launched famous products like the gross-out giant success Gooey Louie. In 2000, Jim struck gold again with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The company doubled their sales in one year and received the Toy of the Year award. It was after this success that Jack Pressman was posthumously inducted into the prestigious Toy Industry Hall of Fame. Five years later, Pressman Toy was acquired by Goliath, which is owned by Jim's longtime friend, Adi Golad. Adi was the European licensee of the classic Pressman toy game, Triominos, and distributed another, Rummy Cube. Retiring after 43 years, Jim Pressman was recognized for his achievements by also being inducted into the Toy Industry Hall of Fame. In his acceptance speech, he thanked his daughter Kate, who helped open his eyes to successful licenses like Scooby-Doo and Land Before Time. He also thanked his wife Donna, who he recognized as both his left and right hands, as well as a big part of his brain. The induction fell on Pressman Toy's 100th anniversary to celebrate a century of innovation brought to you by Jack, Lynn, and Jim. Thank you, Pressman Toys, for bringing us all so much fun. We look forward to the next 100 years.